Hey there, Karen. I just wanted to thank you so much for bringing attention to the New Hampshire independence movement. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Thank you very much for coming out, everyone. I'm Alu Axelman of libertyblock.com and the Foundation for New Hampshire Independence, nhindependence.org. We're here today because 13 representatives voted in favor of legislation that would have placed independence on the ballot. The Constitutional Amendment, CACR 32, simply read, New Hampshire peaceably declares independence from the United States and immediately proceeds as a sovereign nation. All other references to the United States in this Constitution, state statutes and regulations are nullified. That was the amendment they proposed. I didn't see much violence in there. I did see the word peaceably. And I didn't see a lot of big threats of violence or insurrection. Now, a few days ago, a citizen filed a complaint with the Ballot Law Commission, where we are here in Concord, at Nine Modification Way, to remove the legislators who proposed and voted in favor of voting not to kill that legislation, throw them off the ballot. Brave, courageous, peaceful, pro-liberty, pro-independence legislators like Matt Santanastasso here being removed from the ballot, silenced, shut up, and their constituents from the town of Ringe totally disenfranchised. That's the complaint. And they based this complaint off of insurrection, which is, is now obviously an overused term. But this person claims that by supporting independence from the DC empire, it is insurrection and rebellion and treason. Now, if you look at the constitution and all the most historical documents from the United States and all over the world and all of history, rebellion, treason, insurrection, all these things always involve violence. And what they did was the most peaceful thing they, they could have done. They filed legislation in the state house and tried to pass it with, it would have required 60% of the House and Senate and two-thirds of the people. A very peaceful, democratic process. They didn't walk into the State House with a thousand ARs and you know throw grenades and, and take, try to take it by military force. It was the most peaceful thing. And if they're saying that they don't want us to do this, they want violence, which we don't want. But that's what they're saying. They, want us, they wanted us to have done more violently. This is the most peaceful, democratic way to do it. So they filed a complaint to throw these people off of the ballot so that in two weeks in the primary, people can't even vote in favor of them. Now, what's interesting is the New Hampshire Constitution protects free speech. So they have free speech, which includes, as we know, according to state and federal case law, includes speech written and, and you know, oral speech and, and written and legislation and, and general expression. So the New Hampshire Constitution, Article 22 says, quote, free speech and liberty of the press are essential to the security of freedom in this state. They ought therefore to be inviolably preserved, end quote. And that's free speech. But it goes further for legislators like the state representatives who supported independence, the New Hampshire Constitution goes way further for legislators to give them super free speech to say anything and can never be punished. In New Hampshire Constitution, Article 30, it says, the freedom of deliberation, speech, and debate in either house of legislature is so essential to the right of the people that it cannot be the foundation of any action, complaint, or prosecution in any other court or place whatsoever. The way I read that, Article 30 of the New Hampshire Constitution, is legislators in their legislative capacity can do anything in the world they damn well please. Even sponsor legislation that is rebellious or insurrectionist in nature or totally violent. They can do anything and they can never be punished in any way whatsoever. But this was not violent, this was peaceable. It literally said we peaceably declare independence. That's all. We're being abused by our partner, the DC Empire, and we want to walk away. Please don't shoot us in the back. It's like a wife saying to her abusive husband, I'm leaving you. I don't care if it's legal or you agree or whatever. I don't care, I'm leaving. Don't shoot me in the back. That's all I'm asking. So, also, in Article 10 of the New Hampshire Constitution, it does give us the right for actual violent revolution. So, again, for many more reasons now, multiple reasons, if the legislation would have called for violent revolution, it would have been constitutional. Article 10, um, I don't have the whole quote here, but Carla's going to give it to you later, I'm sure, because she always does. Furthermore, not a single law enforcement person, local, state, or federal, or government agent dictator Sununu or the attorney general or secretary of state or anyone has approached in the last year because this legislation was filed almost a year ago September October none of them have approached any of the 16 representatives who supported or sponsored this legislation if this were really insurrection they wouldn't have waited a year because insurrection treason rebellion that's a pretty big deal the FBI as we know they're pretty fast when they want to be they would have been here um, the day it was filed with the OLS in like November or September and they were not. So 10 months later, none of them have even mentioned it or approached, but even Sununu or even the Secretary of State and Attorney General didn't even mention this. 
But the important thing is, I don't even care, as a voluntarist, if it's constitutional or not. It happens to be. This is totally constitutional. Also, Article 10 of the United States Constitution says all the things that states cannot do. So if you care about the U.S. Constitution, it says states cannot coin money. States cannot enter into a compact or declare war on other nations. End of list. It doesn't say states can't secede. So there's a, it's a list, an exhaustive list of things states can't do. They could have put secession there. They didn't. The founders didn't. So by the principle of logic and of the Ninth and Tenth Amendment, we can surmise with 100% certainty that secession is constitutional. Now, leaving an abuser, I don't, even regardless of the Constitution, leaving an abuser, which DC, we have an article on libertyblock.com of 100 reasons we believe they're abusing us. The Declaration of Independence in 76 for Britain only had like a few reasons. We have hundreds of reasons why we believe they're abusing us. Leaving an abuser... In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now, in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.